Okay, here we go guys. I'm doing a live commentary of a replay I'm gonna watch for the very first time. And today we're gonna watch Free the Brain. And actually it is not true because I am also playing in the same game as him. Uh, it is Free the Brain in the summers. Our, our friend Mini in the Smolensk and myself in the Yamato. So yeah, but we're gonna watch it from a uh, brain's point of view. So let's take a look at the setup. Um, how does it look? Well, this is a full tier 10 game. Uh, five BBs on both sides, so that's quite heavy. Uh, they got some. Uh, they actually got some uh, players from Rain, as you can see, and these guys are, well, a division of uh, Des Moines and Kleber. That can be painful. All right, so yeah, um, one thing I do remember of this battle is uh, we were discussing about. Uh, well, I was saying I was gonna put some. Uh, pressure on the Des Moines if we see the Des Moines so we actually you know just to keep them as far away from brain as possible so yep brain is going in me is following and Minnie is going to the island there just to provide provide that HE spamming uh, and we actually got a radar with us as well, the Wooster. Now I don't know that much about the Summers because I don't have it myself. But it is... Oh, there we go. There we got a Des Moines from Rain. So yeah, my, ta my task as, as the Amato is uh, to keep pressure on the uh, Des Moines there. Ooh, Kleber here as well. So we got the rain on our side, on our flank. Reporting the position of a strategic target. And there's the other Des Moines. Alright, so we got two Des Moines here. That's not looking good. But I think what Brain is doing here is providing a good smoke screen for, uh, for the team to just hide behind while he's spotting. And that can be very useful. I don't know if it's useful for the BBs, but yep. We got some good fire going on on the, uh, oh, the Des Moines there took quite a nice hit. And he has to be careful not to get too close to them. At least not to get in the radar range. Alright. He's getting close to the uh, other Des Moines there. Oh, he's got some torpedo hits there on the Kremlin. That's nice. Those were actually random. But because he got three torpedo uh, launchers, he can uh, just spam them. Alright, I think he's also putting pressure on, uh, on the Des Moines there, which is always good, you know, just keep pressure on them. Alright, the moon is close. He needs to be careful not to get radar. Alright, our Henri is making a dangerous turn there. But he can do that. So far it's looking quite okay. I don't want to push in too far. Oh, we lost the ship there already. Wow. But they are quite heavy on this flank as we can count. It's like... 3, 4... 7 ships on this flank. And we lost one ship so we're behind on points. 100 points. Those top seems to be getting a hit on the Montana. Echo, echo, 
Yep. A flooding. So far, I'm quite liking what uh, what I see. He's just keeping his distance. That is actually uh, he's playing it on the edge, which is of course okay. This is something you can do. It's he's he's now in radar range, but he'll soon be uh, get getting out of radar range. There you go. That's good. As long as you keep your eyes on the Des Moines, on the radars, and just play on the edge, you can actually do a lot. Mean a lot for your team as well. Ooh, and we just lost the curve first on this flank as well. Alright, so that's our division with two other ships, the Hunry and the Wooster. Trying to hold off uh, seven of them, including two Reigns. So yeah, we already uh, kind of acknowledged that it's going to be uh, probably a push from them. So as you can see, me and Yamato, I'm already backing up. Still trying to keep uh, pressure on the Des Moines. Yeah, he's good. The Rain Des Moines is pushing in, but Brain knows he can uh, can get a bit closer now because he just ran his uh, radar. And yeah, as it looks like, they're gonna nose in now and they're probably gonna push in a bit more. Yeah, Kerfus is moving in, Kremlin is moving in. Mini needs to be careful here because he's actually in radar range of the uh, Des Moines there. I think this is this is the place where the summer shines, you know, because he's got three torpedo launchers. Just be in front of the pushing flanks. Be careful with the radars and you can actually have so much fun with torpedoes. So yeah, I can understand that Brain is sending this one in because this this should be fun for him. Oh, there's another radar. Yep, that's the rain. Uh, you saw that uh, drop off as soon as he uh, was further than 10 kilometers. Mini is backing up. I'm backing up. The Wooster is just leaving us and Henry is just on the flank. He's getting focused now. And as you can see, we're actually more than 200 points behind. Nice torpedo hit there. Yeah, American torpedo hits are uh, pretty hard to spot. So it's going to be hard to dodge them. Our other flank seems to be holding on decently. And the Kleber there just moved to the other flank to assist a little bit more. Alright, so we need some kills now. We need some kills and Brain is playing on the edge here. Actually gets spotted, but yeah, he's got his smoke screen. Think you need to slow down. Slow down quick. There you go. Now just focus on the Kremlin. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can you make the turn? This is gonna be dangerous. Alright, so we're getting some decent hits on the Des Moines there. And Brain is. Oh, this is nice. Can he get a hit? Yes, and a flooding. This is good. This is good. Because he probably uses repair party. And this means that the next torpedo will have a perma flooding. If they're gonna hit. As, as, as you can see, Brain is 
playing it very safe here with the uh, I think this is this is definitely good good DD play keeping the Des Moines on about 10 kilometers yeah there you go double flooding Wow this is gonna hurt the curve so much and as you can see we're quite holding the flank right now and we're actually taking the points lead here's come to radar 9.3 all right uh, wow first kill yep kill by flooding nice job speeding up just to get out of that radar range because there is a Smolensk on the flank as well and there we go mini got the Des Moines nice oh that's one late one radar less to worry about for brain and we're taking the points lead here meanwhile on the other flank our team is actually retreating I don't know why but okay it is we uh, it, it I don't know so far they lost six ships we lost three and we actually held the flank there nice nice I think I think now we're uh, we're discussing a bit about uh, getting the Smolensk gone try to delete him because he's been uh, HE spamming me All forces requesting see he's been HE spamming me and Mini just got his confederate nice nice yeah he's been HE sp I think I'm going dark here and uh, trying to get uh, closer I think I'm holding my uh, my shots And Mini scores his Witherer, so he's doing a quite a good amount of damage there. So you never know what you're gonna get with a Smolensk. Is he is he gonna have defensive AA or is he gonna have Hydro? As soon as soon as that smoke runs out. He's gonna be spotted. Alright, Rain Des Moines is leaving. Probably backing away. And what do we do with a smoke screen? Well, we torp it. Yeah, you know, he only got one kill, but he's got 113k uh, damage, which is nice. Seven torpedo hits not a single uh, main battery hit fired nice nice using that smoke screen wisely there he goes wow nice nice devastating strike on the Smolensk nice 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 problem solved sir I don't know if the smoke was necessary but yeah I, I can understand why he used it Smolens can be devastating from that range. All right, now now we're uh, now the rules have reversed. We can push in now, and we're gonna do that. I'm looking healthy there in the Yamato. And. I think I still keep firing on the Des Moines just you know just to keep pressure on him and I remember actually uh, ending up chatting with this guy asking if he was using the legendary module on the Des Moines which makes makes him so hard to hit all right so we lose the Henry But we're still like 150, 160 points in the lead. Ooh, Kleber came back from the other flank again. Uh, you wonder why 
why is he torping when the Curfers is not in range? Well, the Curfers is coming towards us, so... Yeah, you never know. He might, he might get into range close enough. Alright, so the Rain Demon is actually burning me down along with the Kleber. There you go, I'm asking if he uses the legendary mod. Well, even though we uh, we actually won this flank, we're losing on the other flank. And they still have, uh, the rain division is still alive. But we got two more ships. There we go, trying to get some shots on them. And I finally got my kill on the Des Moines. But we lost the uh, Harugomo. But it is looking nice because uh, our Smolens, he went through the middle. And you're actually capping now. So yeah, this should be a win. I don't know if it will be a win on points. I just noticed that the uh, torpedo reload of the uh, Summers is actually quite fast. What is it, like 90 seconds or something? 80 seconds yeah I can understand you tore but it's not necessary he's just kiting away he's not gonna turn in a hundred seconds all right oh yeah pro it probably went down uh because of adre adrenaline rush or something. You might have adrenaline rush on it. Alright, so Brain is in the cap. Smolensk is in the cap. Even if we don't cap it, we're holding that points. And we still got our Conqueror in the base. Wait. Is your torpedo range 16.5? See, I told you I don't know enough <laughs> about this Summers. Nice. I'm learning here as well. Yeah, 16.5 it says on the minimap. Alright, the Kleber is living on the edge. Thank you, Brain, for that. Nice. Alright, so we got a 300 points lead. We got three ships more than them. Brain got two kills, one devastating strike, 142k damage. This is a well played battle. And this really makes me eager to get the uh, Summers. Alright, so what's the Henri's plan? One minute left on the clock. And as you can see on the minimap, uh, there Montana, I don't know where he is going, but... He's, uh, he's not doing anything for his team anymore. Henry is giving his, his last try.
And I think we're just trying to get uh, the Hunry down. Will we do that in 20 seconds? Alright, Brain is just farming some damage. Five seconds. Will he survive or not? Yep. He survived. Nice. Alright, so this is the only result screen I could get from uh, from Free the Brain. But he actually did <laughs> land 10 target hits with his main battery guns. But yeah, those 9 torpedoes with the floodings combined did a whole lot of damage. A total of 144k damage. And yeah, he actually managed to get uh, 2 kills. Including that devastating strike on the Smolensk. And yeah, just look at those spotting ribbons. That was his job and he performed it very, very, very well. So yep, thank you Brain for sending that one in. I really enjoyed it and especially when we played that one together I enjoyed it as well we we all, all of our three we had a good game and yeah that was awesome so guys thank you for uh, for uh, watching this replay with me if you have a replay on your own you want me to take a look at just check the info down below and uh, I'll see you on the next replay